happy Sunday and welcome to Socially Bearded. Sunday, shave video. I have got, I think this is like kind of a commemoration to the movie Saw uh, from Central Texas Soaps. Now, I've never used anything from Central Texas Soap. Let's call it CTS. Never used anything from CTS. Uh, I actually, I assumed with it being from Texas that it was going to be a tallow base and turns out it is a vegan base. So, we will uh, we will see how that works. The, the soap itself, when I was digging it out, I noticed it felt rubbery. Um, I, I mean, I, that doesn't mean anything. It just, it just kind of how it kind of how it felt to me so uh, got the Omega board brush and we will get underway kind of a it wasn't the softest soap um, but it most certainly wasn't the hardest either it was it was easy to get out uh, so far it seems to be whipping up pretty good really we will use the leaf again today I will go back to DE's here pretty quick a uh, little bubbly but we still got a little ways to go so we will see what happens um inexpensive so definitely inexpensive i can't remember i will throw the price right up here um, but it was somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars I, I believe something like that uh, so you know fairly inexpensive so even if it just barely works that's more than enough uh <laughs> We're gonna go with a feather today. You have probably heard me say, I'm not a fan of feathers. They're absolutely too sharp. But it's been a long time since I've used one, so we're gonna give it another shot. It's whipping up pretty good here. Definitely needs some water. Definitely needs a good shot of water to it. We will. Yeah, dip, dipping the tips ain't gonna help there. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to dump some in there. Pre-shave because we always do. That we need it, but you never know when it'll come in handy. doesn't seem to be a bad soap at all uh, obviously I haven't you know I haven't used it yet but it feels decent going on uh, it doesn't feel you know like real super bubbly like a you know like, like some of the other some of the other soaps you've seen on this channel Kind of feels like it's gonna do feels like it's gonna do really well actually so uh, let's give it a little shot of water all right I'm kind of more worried about the feather plates than I am anything definitely more worried about them than I am the soap you can just feel how sharp they are stupidly sharp so the last blade that I used I almost thought it was like not sharp enough and I don't even honestly know if that was if, if that's what was wrong with the blade but it left a lot of stubble that is not the case here You 
got to be very careful with anything that you stick a feather in. You got to be careful anyway when you're wet shaving, but you got to be very careful if you stick a feather blade in something. When it cuts, it cuts. <laughs> it does not play around with you. It is a no-nonsense blade, so to speak. There's a lot of hair in the sink. I don't think we'll have to do a second pass. I will say though, so far the, the feather blades have, have actually treated me very well. Okay, so <clears throat> the, the feather had a lot to do with that, but I, I feel zero irritation, which considering I'm using a feather is, is pretty rare. So hopefully that speaks to hopefully that speaks to this soap, you know, that it offers a, a nice layer of protection I don't need this second pass I do however I'm just gonna implement it in and go real easy there was a couple of spots that I always miss just the way the hair grows and I want to see how much irritation this feather blade will cause you know using, using the Central Texas soaps couple of little spots back there I got a funny shaped head I guess and you got to go kind of a couple different directions but that's it so get a little water there Ooh. that's nice that's nice. That, that feels really, really good. Uh, again, I don't remember the exact cost of the of the tub of soap there. I, it was not expensive at all. Um, I don't know. I can't remember even why I picked it up. Uh, I have never been, you know, like a fan of saw or anything like that. Um, but I seen it. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I can't remember. I think it might have some tobacco or something in it. I'm not really sure. Um, the scent, it, the, the scent is really, really light. Uh, I, I don't get a lot of scent at all out of this. Um, but again, that, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, yes, I buy, I buy soaps for the scent. Um, I know a couple of bases that I know will never let me down. So if I was, you know, buying unscented or whatever, I would just go with them and, you know, never pick up anything else. But. Um, Obviously, yes, I chose that one for whatever the scent profile said it was. I think it had some tobacco or something. I'll, I'll throw it up, you know, I'll throw it up here. But, uh, you know, we want it to do its job. So I would say, I would say it's definitely done that. There's always a spot right here that I miss every time. You can feel it a couple hours later, there's a little bit of stubble. So, since we don't have a lot of leftover fragrance from the soap, we will go in with some Vor V from Holy Call. Oh, yeah. No burning, nothing. So, that was, that was a good shave. So, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave them two blades in the leaf, and we will... We will go for that again. That was 
that was really nice. If every uh, if every time I ever used the leaf was that nice, that would maybe be my go-to blade. Uh, really, really good. So, yep. All right, guys. That is uh, that's our shave today. The Central Texas soaps done its job. Um, if you want to save a, a buck or two on a you know on a, on a what I say is a is a pretty decent soap. Hey, have at it. Uh, you know, just look through and pick out whatever scent you want. So, uh, but anyway, I appreciate everybody for joining, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you're new here and you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember to follow me across all social medias.